Okay, friends, so when making a mandala, we're going to start with a circle for the center. Now, if you have a circle template, you can choose one of these circles to trace. If you don't, find something around your house that's a circle shape, maybe some yarn or, or ribbon, something round, a roll of tape, anything you have. If not, you can always draw a circle freehand, but let's start with this. Maybe you have a roll of tape. Now you're going to use a pencil, but I'm going to use a Sharpie because it shows up better on the camera. So I'm just going to trace a circle for the center and that's where we'll, we'll start. So let's start by just drawing a line down the middle and through the center, make a cross and then let's add an X. It doesn't have to be perfect. So this is where our mandala will start. Now we want to create like a flower theme or a lotus in the center. And the way you do that is just by adding half circles. So this is going to be our shapes mandala. Everything we do in this mandala will be based on shapes. So we've created triangles like a pizza pie. And now we're going to add half circles. So we're going to add half circles to each one of these lines, half circle on each side. Try not to overlap them. So they might be kind of skinny half circles. And this is going to create a lotus or a flower motif or design. Now, you could use your template to create a bigger circle, but most people don't have those templates, so we're just going to do it freehand. So I'm going to carefully draw a circle. It's not going to be perfect, but that's okay. Around. So now this is our next row for our mandala. And remember, we're just going to use shapes. So for this next row, I think I'll choose circles. But before I do that, I want to make sure that it is as symmetrical as possible. So do you remember that cross that I made in the beginning? I'm going to do it again. And the X. All right, so I'm going to try to everything I do in one section. I'm going to do in the other sections. So I'm putting two circles in each section. Now, for me, it's easier to turn my paper. And put two circles in each section so that it stays kind of symmetrical. All right, so, so far so good. Now it's time for another circle. Remember that X. All right, we're just going to carry it through. Okay, what shape shall we use next? Maybe I'm going to just do one big triangle in each section. Again, it's easier for me to turn my paper. We're just using our basic shapes. Good. All right. Coming out pretty good. Uh, all right. Another. My circles aren't perfect, but that's okay. Draw those lines. All right. What shape should we use this time? Um, sh let's just do squares. So we could make a square by adding just stripes. So I'm going to make a line that comes right out the top of that triangle. We'll start there. And that's dividing those boxes in half. But I want to add a little bit more. So I will add a line on each side. Again, I'm going to turn my paper. It makes it a little bit easier for me. Okay. Let's see. 
I think we can make space for one more. Again, it's not a perfect circle, but it will do for what we're working with. Again, those guidelines, you can remember where they are. See, what can we put in this one? I think I'm gonna do circles again. Let's see, how many do you think we could fit in here? Let's see. Hmm. Maybe not circles. Maybe more triangles. Because I can use these lines to help guide me. This one's going to be kind of big. Maybe I'll add an extra line here so it doesn't look so big. Oops. So if you're using a pencil, you can catch your mistakes and erase them. I'm using a Sharpie, so it's much harder for me to erase. There we go. All right, so there's my mandala. I am ready to color in. The great thing about mandalas, there's no top, there's no bottom, there's no side. Any way you want to hold it is perfect. So that is my drawn mandala. Here I have one that's already been colored in. Same process. I started with a circle in the center, drew my lotus flower. The only difference here is when I drew the line through the center, I just drew it all the way to the end edge of the paper so that way I didn't have to keep going back and drawing the lines. So if I were to do that again, let's start with, here's a circle. And maybe even use a trusty ruler. So I would draw a line across my whole paper And if you're using pencil, then you can erase the lines that you don't need in the end, right? It's not exactly centered, but... And then if you have a template, you can add more circles this way and your marks are already there for you. Okay. And there you have it. Always start with the lotus or the flower in the center. And create your mandala. All right, gang. Have fun. I can't wait to see the results.